hello guys uh, this is the google home i'm reviewing today and the google home is a smart speaker developed by google announced in may 2016 and released in the united states in november 2016 with a release in the united kingdom in april 2017 followed by australia canada france germany japan in the summer of 2017 so what is the google home it's a voice activated speaker by Google. On the side of the cartoon, it says a far field voice recognition to support hands free use. 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz Wi Fi support for high performance streaming. Simple setup with the Google Home app on iOS and Android. High excursion speaker delivers clear highs and rich bass for hi-fi sound and then Chromecast building allows casting from compatible audio apps to Google Home multi-room playback to sync music across speakers that have Chromecast building so you can check out you can check out the compatible you can check out the compatible services and more at g.co slash home slash service it's compatible with uh, YouTube, Pandora, Google Play Music, TuneIn, Google Chromecast, Nest, Huey, and SmartThings. Uh, what's included in the box? You have uh, the Google Home, the AC power adapter, and uh, it says here Google Home is a, it's powered by Google Assistant. Ask it questions, tell it to do things. It's your own Google, always ready to help. So you can be the DJ. You can stay ahead of the game know it all outsmart your smart home and as always just start with ok google so let's begin the unboxing Okay, so looking at the Google Home, this is the power adapter. You should always make sure you check the voltage, the documentation. Just start with OK Google. And a couple of instructions you can start with stop, tune, play music, set a timer. Set a thermal start. Tell me a fun fact. What does calories in Apple? How many calories in Apple? Designed to match your home. Customize your home with the color. So the base, speaker base comes in various colors. And then this is uh, the warranty documentation and the product information. So this is get started. Say step one plug power cable into Google Home. Step 2, plug power adapter into wall socket. And step 3, download and run the Google app, the Google Home app on the phone or tablet. So you can get the app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Now if you turn behind the documentation, you see it has two microphones at the side. The entire top is a touch surface microphone on or off power station slide so when you press at the center you tap once you either stop or pause the audio and when you move 180 degrees of a circle you change the volume and if you long press you start your request it's just the box so nothing more Okay, this is the Google Home. As you saw on the documentation, these are the microphones. This is the button to turn off or on the microphone. 
this is a speaker covering of the base which comes in various colors has the USB one speaker another and a third and this is where you plug in the AC here so let's get this thing fired up okay I've plugged the power adapter to the wall and now let's fire up this machine okay it's connected see step one if you notice you can see the initialization lights the device is actually booting up When it's done, it's going to stop. Okay. So, if you long press, you start a request. If I tap once, I stop. Pause the audio. If I go 180 or 360 degrees of a circle, I can either increase or reduce the volume. Okay. To get the device running, the Google Home, you need to get the app installed. So, for example, iOS, I have the app installed, Google Home. I open it and I'm already set up. So, I may not go detail into my settings, but you need the Google Home to access the device to log in with your Google account. So, basically, that is it. That's all. Okay, so let's go back to the Google Home. Okay, now let's test the Google Home and see some of its functionalities. Okay, as it says on the card, I say, okay, Google, play Manu Dibango. Playing Manu Dibango on Google Play Music. Awesome. Reduce volume to 50%. Reduce volume to 50%. Okay, Google. Who is the president of Cameroon? The president of Cameroon is Paul Bia. 
Okay, Google. What is the weather in Boya? In Boya, it's 47 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 63 and a low of 40. Okay, Google. What is Google I.O.? According to Wikipedia, Google I.O. is an annual developer conference held by Google in San Francisco, California. Okay, Google. How do I say hello in Spanish? Hola. Okay, Google. What is the nearest pharmacy in Boya? I found a few places. The first one is CVS Pharmacy at 855 East Birch Street in Brea. The second one is Kaiser Permanente Pharmacy at 1900 East Lambert Road in Brea. The third one is Fisher's Brea Pharmacy at 385 West Central Avenue E in Brea. Okay, Google. Add butter to my shopping list. Okay, I've added butter to your shopping list. Okay, Google. Dim the lights in the kitchen. Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but I'm still learning. Okay, Google. What's on my calendar? There are three events next week. The first starts on Friday at 4 p.m. The title is SSA GDG by Weekly Chat. Second, on Friday at 4 p.m., you have SSA GDG by Weekly Chat. The third one follows on Friday at 5 p.m. with the title Docker Study Jams at Skyla Base. Okay, Google. Play. Okay, Google. Flight departing Douala. There are 19 cities with non-stop flights from Douala. Popular flight destinations include Yaoundé and Bangui. So guys, uh, these are just part of the possibilities. You get a Google Home, there are a lot of things you can try out. Thank you for watching my video.